what is up guys sam here back with another video uh this time i want to do another uh collection video uh it's going to be on my xbox 360 collection and uh this is like one of my favorite consoles um i still fire up the actual xbox 360 even though i have an xbox one as well and um i like to play games on it just uh it's it's a fantastic system great console uh, a bunch of great games for it i have about like 40 plus games i used to have a lot more but i did end up selling a lot of them because of uh you know space issues and getting other things and just needed quick cash for the moment but uh i'm still gonna build up on it and i'm gonna i want to get more games for it for sure uh, there's a lot of like uh, collectors edition stuff and so many um, cool things. So I'm gonna get right into it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So um, here we go. First off, I'm gonna start off with the controller. This is my go-to controller, basically. It's like a, a blue chrome. Um, I got this a while, like a long time ago. Actually, I've had this for years. Um, got this from a game store in my area. There is like a little ding right there. I think it fell or something. Um, while I was playing like out of my hands and it probably got a, a, a little, you know, the plastic part kind of chipped off on that corner. But, uh, my favorite color is blue and I ended up getting this. I, I just love it. It's a shiny blue chrome. And then the back is all like flat black. And, um, of course, it takes the AA batteries. And you guys can see this is, like, really worn out because I've used this quite a bit. Uh, the left thumbstick is, like, really worn out. But uh, it still works. It, it works great. Uh, it gets the job done to play games and good stuff like that. Um, next thing I'm going to show, these are, like, pretty cool, man. I think these are super badass. Um... I got these both together, again, from a, um, from the uh, same place where I got that controller. It's a game store in my area a while back, um, and it's still in box. It's a Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition, uh, basically like a statue figure, but it's also a bookend where you could put like books or CDs or movies or games or whatever you want to put, and this part is closed off, but... Um, I don't want to open the box because it's going to be difficult with two hands and Sub-Zero is on the side. So basically, um, Scorpion is throwing his little spear thing through the wall and it hits and grabs onto uh, Sub-Zero, which is like super cool. As you can see, it's like very detailed. And uh, this is like kind of like a thing from the top where I had this opened. I wish I kept it sealed. But uh, I had it open for a while, but then I put it back in the box. And uh, here it is, at the, as you can see, uh, it's a collectible figures, figurines of Scorpion and Sub-Zero. So it says these figurines double up as video game bookends. Yeah, bookends. Uh, you could put, like I said, movies, whatever you want. But since it is like a video game related thing, you would put like video games to hold it off. Like the ends. So it's really cool. And uh, it says your favorite Mortal Kombat games. Uh, hand sculpted with high, with high level of detail. And then as you can see there's Raiden. And a couple of game, I guess, little screenshots uh, about the game. And you could also, there's also the, uh, uh, kind of like the, um, uh, there's like a retro costume exclusive for the game of, um, you know, different cool things of Ermac. And then there's also, um, what is that? King of the Hill Online avatar with Mortal Kombat costumes. So it's like a lot of like cool little things added on in there as well. And besides this, like I said, I also got uh, something else with that, which is that bad boy there. And that thing is freaking heavy, man. It's like super heavy. Um, 
I have a shelf inside my closet since I don't have like space to display it. So um, I have it inside of my closet there, this and that um, in my room. And um, this thing is just so cool. I have played with this a long time. Um, it's basically like an arcade kind of, uh, it's a fight stick, but it's like a, it gives it like a true arcade feeling to it. And it's really heavy, like I said. So I'm going to bring this across over here really quick if I can. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but um, I'm actually going to go to this side to show you guys just like what it looks like. It's so cool. I'm going to turn this around very quickly, and there goes the controller again. I do it raw and uncut, guys. No uh, editing, no nothing like that. Whatever goes, goes. It's fine. Um, so, basically, this is what it is, and it's an arcade cabinet, and you could, like, uh, store, you know, your games and other things like that in there. there it also comes with, like, a super high-end, high-end detailed uh, art book. Um so you can see like the guts on the inside with all the uh, um with the wirings and everything when you open it up and uh it's mortal Kombat is engraved in there as you can see so it's it's really cool man very cool stuff and uh yeah the box is still in great condition i'm just gonna leave that like that the box is still in great condition, so is the uh, arcade fight stick, the, the fight stick or whatever it's called. I believe this is wired, so you have to like wire it to the um, Xbox 360 and uh, cool stuff like that. And of course, I do have the games, so I'm going to get into the games where you guys will see as well. This is what the video is about, besides all these cool other things that I have. And uh, yeah, so... That was that. I'll show the controller. I also have the uh, box, but the box I wasn't able to take out because it's uh, piled up uh, on other things. I wanted, I wasn't able to uh, take it out. What I have the, as far as like for the console goes, it's the uh, black Xbox 360 200. I think it's the 250 gigabyte, which was packed with two games. And um, I think it was four. Forza Motorsport, one of those games, and Alan Wake was in it, which Alan Wake was like a card type thing, and I got that as a gift like a long time ago, I think it was like a Christmas gift, and uh, yeah, so let's get into the games guys, um, I do have a little over 40 games, so it's not bad, and uh, I do want to get more for sure, I'm going to uh, pick up more uh, if I come across them. So, let's start it off with one of my favorite franchises in video games, period, um, is Gears of War. I've spent so many hours playing these games, man. Um, not just part one, but I also have part two and uh, part three. And speaking of part three, I did not. I, I also picked this up. Um, a while back, it's still brand new sealed. I only paid $14 uh, for this. As you can see, the sticker is still on that. Um, I got it from a reseller. Uh, definitely worth for what I paid for. And it comes with all that extra stuff in there. Just an amazing, amazing franchise. Uh, super fun. Uh, I would say they're uh, third person shooters. Kind of like over the shoulder. And uh, Marcus Phoenix and uh, Dominic, I believe, Carmine. And there's so many amazing characters with such uh, great effort put into each and every one of them. And the voice acting and everything, man. The gameplay is just so badass. That's like one of my favorite weapons where they use, um, which is the Lancer. It's like a machine gun with a chainsaw for a for who, whoever has not played these games before, man, I highly recommend this. Go and pick these up and play them. You could probably even get these like on Xbox One. Um, but uh, I like to have the, you know, the, uh, um, uh, what's it called? 
the uh, actual physical copies. There's probably like compilations where you could get like all of these games in one. There's even like Xbox 4 and 5 I think is also out uh, as far as Gears of War 4 and 5. Um, I do have part 4 on the Xbox One. But um, yeah man, these are just fantastic, fantastic games. I can't say more or enough about these. This was basically another installment of the game. Uh, a different story where basically it's about like Baird is like the main character I believe and it's just a little different and uh, it wasn't bad I still like this as well it was still fun and uh, yeah cool stuff like that man these are super fun games if you guys are into like shooters like that the story as well is fantastic um, you guys will definitely like that if you haven't played it definitely check those out <clears throat> and of course uh, another great franchise uh, one of my favorites of course is capcom resident evil 5 i also had a a, a, a real good like a blast playing this it's super fun really love these games resident evil 5 i also got resident evil 6 which is the archives and it comes with this cool cover sleeve. Um, what is there's like extra things included in this. So the contents are Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil Code Veronica XHD, Resident Evil 4 HD, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, and uh, Resident Evil Degeneration DVD movie. So it comes with that. Um, Two discs and then yeah there's the dvd movie which is cool um yeah man it's just um really fun a lot of people i think when this came out didn't really like uh resident evil 6 i don't know why but good or bad man i really enjoyed these games i think it was super fun love the graphics and uh they kind of switched it up and uh, a lot of people complain about this where it was like a horror movie. It was just this and that. Um, but I really, really love these games. They're, they're super fun. You go around, uh, you know, just shooting zombies and having a lot of cool, good time. Uh, this was also uh, really different than your um, actual uh, traditional quote-unquote Resident Evil game. Uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I remember at the time where I when I had um um what's it called online I, I would play this a lot even the the story mode uh, really fun again it's more of I think a third person shooter uh, but I enjoyed it it was a really fun game cool game Resident Evil Revelations man I had a blast playing this one as well this is really fun um. I'm actually looking out for part two, which I still don't have. I would want to get it either on the 360 or the PS3, or I'm sure there's more on the, uh, it would probably be on a newer gen consoles as well. But uh, yeah, this was fun too. I had a really good time playing this one. Um, it's a little different again. You fight these more like giant monsters and creatures, but it was fun. I liked it. Uh, another Capcom title, Lost Planet Extreme Condition. This was not bad either. Um, I think there's part two and three of this as well. Uh, I did kind of get stuck on this, but it's pretty, pretty cool. It's a fun game. Another, I think, a third-person shooter. Um, next one. Oh, man. Uh, not part. I think that's the, the earlier one. But uh, Earth Defense Force 2017 and uh, Earth Defense Force 2025. These are your <clears throat> basically pop it in. No, you don't have. No, it's it's like a no brainer. You just go around and fight these uh, ginormous just bugs. Basically, all these different bugs, and um, I think there's also different like robots as well. It does get harder as you progress into the game, of course, but it's super fun. You get to like blow up buildings with rocket launchers and and uh, different machines, and there's different um, 
as far as I know, uh, different characters have their own different abilities and you get to play. So it's really cool. I don't think I've played this one yet because uh, I got this one first, 2025. Um, it's, it's literally a blast, man. Really fun game. And I'm sure uh, there's, there's more of these games on different consoles, uh, different platforms. I think there's one on the PS Vita. Um, uh, there's one um, I think I've seen for like the Japanese PS2 as well. I don't know if they're like actual different games, but yeah, the, they have it on different uh, consoles as well. Like I said, uh, on the Vita as well on my handheld. Oh man, Mafia 2. Um, this game, I just love. It's basically about the Mafia. Your main character is this guy. I forgot his name because I played this like a long time ago. I'm just going to talk about a little bit about the games of what I remember and what I enjoyed about it. And um, so this guy's kind of like your best friend. And I don't want to give the story too much away, but it has a phenomenal storyline. I believe this guy comes from the army and then gets back, back in or was in the Mafia. Um, uh, it's based in like old times, like I think the forties or fifties, probably even earlier than that. And, uh, it's basically like Grand Theft Auto, but the storyline is really good. Um, the voice acting, all of that good stuff, really colorful with, um, you get to get all these, uh, different cool cars, different weapons, truly a blast, very fun game. Highly recommend that one. Um, Borderlands 1 and 2, what can I say about these games, man? Um, I played and finished this, I actually beat this, um, I started playing this somewhat, and then I stopped playing it, because I was playing, I started playing a different game, but I'm gonna play it again for sure, but these are basically, uh, first person shooters with RPG elements, you get to level up, and it's, it's, Super fun. I love my FPS games, first-person shooters. Um, and they're actually, like, the graphics are, like, cell-shaded. So it's really cool. And uh, you get to, like, level up and all that good stuff. And very fun. Very fun first-person shooters. I have not played this one yet, Far Cry 3. I have played, um, I think it was one of the games on the original Xbox. But uh, again, first-person shooters. So if I if and when I have uh, time, I am definitely gonna play this one. So many games, such little time to do, right? Um, this one is also a first-person shooter, I believe, and I still have not played this one as well. Brothers in Arms: Hell's Highway. I guess it was a, a Best Buy exclusive mini strategy ga guide included. Um, yeah, there's that guide. So. Uh, the hint book is in there. That's pretty cool. Comes with the manual and that. So I'm glad that's in there. Um, yeah, cool stuff like that. Uh, next game I'm going to show is Game of the Year Edition, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, you know, cool stuff. Um, I also got the Halo 3 Essentials. Um which I think that's supposed to be a map, or it could be a poster as well. There's the manual, uh, disc one and disc two, they're both in there. I got this used, I think, from the flea market, so I don't know if there's like a cover art for this, like a sleeve or something that goes, or just like that, I'm not quite sure. Um, also got these, I remember I got these from a garage sale a while back, these are just badass, um, uh, Basically, shmups, shooters, uh, the traditional style, the old ways, like, uh, I believe, yeah, this one's a side-scrolling one. Uh, I have played a little bit of both. Beautiful graphics, very fun, and um, uh, there's some screenshots of the game. This kind of looks like more of like a bullet hell, maybe, but, um, yeah, Death Smiles and... Uh, Akai Katana, yeah, I guess that's what that's called, so, yeah, these are really fun, um, uh, shmups, shooters, definitely recommend those as well, 
Oh man, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, one of my favorite hack and slash games. Comes with this cool uh, sleeve. Um, very fun, tough as nails. It does get really hard. And these are known for being tough. But uh, super fun hack and slash game. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh my god, I remember when I first played this game. It was so much fun. Super fun. Um, a very cool, uh, basically, uh, beat -em up style. And it also comes with those glasses as well. Uh, uh, what are these called? Yeah, the 3D glasses included. Works on any TV. So if you want to play it in 3D mode, it looks pretty badass, actually. And I have played it that way. And it also comes with a four extra challenge maps. So, um, yeah, man, really fun. Uh, beat em up top type game not beat em up but like a more of a, like a 3d brawler and you also an action adventure where you go all around and uh same as this uh batman arkham city um i think this one had the uh if i'm not mistaken yeah it came with the uh a, a downloadable add-on where you get to play as catwoman and that was really badass and at the time um i did actually download that as the add-on and played it so you basically get to play as a side mission uh as catwoman which is really fun so yeah batman arkham city another really cool game um next i would say this is also another beat-em-up uh deadpool uh this was pretty fun too i had, I had a, a really good time playing this uh, you get to play as Deadpool, you go around and just beat enemies up, and uh, cool stuff like that. Also, these two, uh, which is Darksiders and Darksiders 2, again, uh, very fun, um, very fun, what's it called, uh, uh, action brawlers, uh, 3D, basically hack and slash games. Uh, really cool stuff. I love that cover art with the shine on it. And, uh, I mean, just th that that just looks freaking badass with the two kind of like axes or whatever those weapons are. That mean looking horse. That just looks too cool. So, yeah, these are really fun. Um, uh, basically, hack and slash games. Um, this one was a Middle Earth Shadow Mortar. Oh man, this this is also another fantastic game. Uh, the gameplay I'm gonna uh, compare this to like kind of like Batman, where you're blocking and 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 beating up enemies and and uh, at, at like multiple times you could like you know do all things. So it, it it really reminds me of that as far as like where the combat goes. Uh, very fun game. You get to fight these. Um, uh, different enemies and it's 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 really cool uh, basically it's 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 another uh as you can see it says, it says a bat blast to play a very fun game i highly recommend this one as well um devil may cry 4 again uh i have not played this one but uh i think i played part one if i'm not mistaken as far as i remember yeah um, but I will definitely get to play that. Uh, I want to beat it like all in order. I want to play part one, two, three and beat them all. And, uh, then end up playing this kind of like, go like in order. So that'll be cool. Uh, heard great things about this game. Alice Madness Returns. Have not played this one yet as well, but, uh, definitely will, um, whenever, as soon as I have time. Um, next thing I'm going to show, I'm going to speed this up to show you guys the game really quick. Because I don't want this video to be way too long. Uh, Tales of Vesperia I also got. Um, Blue Dragon. Final Fantasy, uh, 13. Uh, Infinite. Uh, Infinite Undiscovery. Have not played that one as yet. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. 
Undead Nightmare. This is basically like a kind of like a downloadable thing, but they brought like I think uh, yeah, it just you get to play as in the Undead Nightmare, which is a Red Dead game, and it's really cool. Uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. I have played quite a bit of that one as well. It's pretty cool. Um, I also got uh, Fable Two. Also have the original one on the original Xbox. Uh, this one is still sealed, still factory sealed. Uh, Fable Three, and besides that, I also got the uh, Fable Three. Uh, Xbox 360 wireless controller, which is a limited edition, and this thing is just badass. I love the uh, the color and the art on it. Um, that, that's just super sick. Very cool. So it's basically a box like that. Um, this is still sealed as well. As you can see. And I'm probably going to keep that sealed just like for a collectible piece. Um, I also got uh, Dragon Age Origins. This looks really cool as well. I still haven't played this one yet, um, but I will whenever I get a chance for sure. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. Basically, you get to play as Marvel and Capcom characters as a fighter, which is cool. And uh, here is Mortal Kombat, which goes with that bad boy right there. And uh, another fantastic, very fun... Um, you know, uh, fighter, basically, like a one-on-one -on -one fighter, obviously. And, uh, speaking of fighters, there's another one, Soul Calibur Five. Still haven't played this one, but I really do, um, enjoy the, uh, Soul Calibur games. And I love my fighters as well, as, as much as, like, beat-em-ups and shooters and adventure games and stuff like that. Um, here's another cool one, which is Brave, A Warrior's Tale. Uh, I do have the first one. I think that's the first one on the PS2. And uh, that's really a cool and fun game, like an action-adventure game. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing that one as well. Uh, this one, after I beat that one day. Um, adventure Time, Explore the Dungeon, because I don't know. So this is basically your uh, a Zelda-type clone. Um, but very fun. You go through dungeons and, you know, you play as this character... And, you know, beat up enemies and try to discover new things and all that cool stuff. Um, also got Lego Batman 3. Uh, Lego Marvel. Superheroes. And last but definitely not least is Amped 3, which I had never... Uh, I didn't know about this game. Uh, I found it at the flea market a while back. And it says uh, only on Xbox. Uh, I do have part 1 and 2, which is on the original Xbox. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, uh, you know, I think I have pretty decent titles. Uh, again, I like to collect for the stuff that I actually like to play. I'm going to enjoy playing. Um, or all these, uh, you know, cool collectible things that I have. Which is uh, really, really awesome. And... Uh, it takes a lot of space, but it's really cool to have, and I'm glad I still, you know, kept them in, in really good condition. And, uh, yeah, cool stuff like that. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I haven't been video game hunting for a while because we've been getting, like, uh, lately a lot of rain, and I've been busy with stuff. Uh, so this week, hopefully... Today, this video is going to be made. Today, I think, is the um, is a Monday. Um, so, it will, you know, be pretty much sunny this whole week. So, I want to go out and game hunt. And I have really missed game hunting. So, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, I find some really cool things so I can make another video game pickups video, which I haven't done in a while. But uh, again, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, you know, push out videos and, and give you guys fresh and new content. So if you guys like what you see, man, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if not, it's cool. Just, you know, hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, this is pretty much it, guys. And Sam is out. So until the next video, you guys have a great day. And uh, take care. I'll see you guys soon.
Sam is out.